Divine truths frequently ask questions. Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and the public. Could a parent who did not teach their children about God in Sunday school yeah. because they felt religion got it wrong. Yep. They now feel terrible as when their children die, they because the children will now believe as they were taught. Yeah. Um, they're, they're feeling bad about that. Right. So how can they make amends? <laughs> well, uh, this is again a question driven by a parent who doesn't want to feel certain emotions. Uh, firstly, they need to feel their emotions of guilt, that they've actually taught their children things that are out of harmony with truth and out of harmony with love. They also need to release them from themselves the reason why they chose to, to teach their children these particular things. And a lot of that has to do with their rage towards religion. Does that make sense? Yep. Like the, the reason why a lot of people never inculcating... Uh, like, like it's one thing to say, I didn't agree with religion about God. It's quite another thing as a result of that particular thought to not teach the child about God. So what is your concept about God? If you don't have the religious concept about God, what is your concept about God? Now, for a lot of people, they chose to not teach the child anything about God because they personally didn't know anything about God themselves, right? And they're now trying to get away with the fact that, oh, you know, oh, I need to feel about that. My choice to not yeah. teach the child anything yeah. about God needs to be felt about. So what I would suggest to such a parent is this. You need to feel everything that you did that damaged your child. There is nothing you can do to avoid such feelings. And in fact, your desire to avoid such feelings is driven by a lack of humility. Because if you were truly humble, you would feel repentant about every single thing that you did that has now injured your child. Now, if a parent fully engages humility and fully engages repentance, they will no longer try to change their child as this parent is trying to do. Yeah. They will change themselves by becoming repentant and receiving more divine love. And through their example, their child will be re-attracted to God. That's the only way that this will be repaired. What this parent is trying to do is to take different actions without going through the emotions. Now, this is like impossible to achieve anything using, using these techniques. All that will result is your children will become more resentful because now you're trying to influence them in a completely opposite direction as what you influenced yeah. them as a child. Unless you release from yourself the cause as to why you took the actions when your children were children, you will not ever be able to repair the damage of that the, or the outcome of these particular actions. Yeah. This person is attempting to repair the damage of the outcome right, without addressing the cause. Yeah. And, if, and as you know from previous discussions you've had or heard about the law of cause and effect, if you tr attempt to do such a thing, no good can ever come about because of it. Yeah. So I would suggest to, this, to these parents that they stop trying to change their children now that they've done the damage and fix firstly the reasons why they did the damage inside of themselves. And then, because of their new nature and condition, their children will be attracted to them and ask them questions about God and other, other issues automatically. Yep. If the child is not being attracted to them automatically to ask these particular questions, then it's highly likely that the parent has not addressed the causal emotion. So instead of trying to force the child as an adult, right, the parent needs to stop attempting to force the child to change, even if the child is mm. an adult, and they need to focus on changing themselves first. Yep. <laughs> they need to get back to that. And my statement is that if the child isn't feeling a, a, some kind of connection with God or a desire to know about God, as an adult, right, then the parent themselves has not changed even though they think they have. 
the parent themselves has yet to be repentant about the real reasons why they took the actions they do, did when the children were children. Yep. Yep. So that's my suggestion to them. Yep. Yep. Question 13 is pretty similar. Similar? Let's go for we'll it. Go for it. Because it. It, it, these kind of questions um, help us understand the psyche of many parents and, and yeah. also the false beliefs that many parents yeah. have. Hey? Okay. Mm.